So guys, this one's a wee bit different. Now, I haven't done, I think, 40k deleted in fucking ages, right, if I'll be honest with you. And I saw this, and I'm not too sure what I think of it, whether or not it's good or it's shite. I like, quite like it. I think it's okay. It's very different, though. And I don't know if different means good or different just means this doesn't fit the setting. So, look, I want to let you guys see it. Um, it's part of a much longer series. Um, I'll need a hook out the more parts but this is what i was able to but if find you like this we'll try and hook out more yeah if you enjoy it we'll hook out more if you don't like i thought it was worth trying yeah. because you know it's 40k and i do enjoy 40k and i don't do as much of it as what i would like to anymore you know so like let us know what you think and if you guys enjoy it then we will try and do a part two but like we'll talk more at the end of this story and you'll get what i'm all about you know what i mean so like as always remember like comment subscribe and we'll see you at the end of the video. Bimi, a reincarnated Anon, born in some early modernish world with fantasy elements. Father is a duke, so I am at least well off as a sixth son. Have some freedom as I am a distant spare, but I need to be seen as proper for the family. Invented a few minor stuff from Earth. Pen designs, smokeless powder, and the plastic wrap in the end of toothpicks. Early twenties I get sent by father to witness some speech by the king. Some stars are moving, and the eleven major kingdoms have called on some ancient treaty to rally together if such an omen occurs. What the hell is going on? Stars get closer. Is that a fucking ship? The Imperium has arrived, and I am freaking the fuck out. Based on how the Imperials greeted us, I am thinking this is the Great Crusade Era. The nobles of higher rank get invited to a party on board Big E's flagship. I can't say no without causing a huge scandal and possibly ruining things for my family. Shit. I'm trying to play it cool and stay out of the way, and the other nobles know I'm an introvert so nothing too far out about that. While eating some of the bomb ass food in the corner, I see the custodies walk down the big ass stairs, announcing the emperor's arrival. He looks even more awe-inspiring than the artwork. I try to calm myself down. I almost forgot he is a hugely powerful psyker. I need to keep a low profile. I am just the distant spare to a jick and a minor inventor. I'm not that interesting. There is no way he can tell I am a reincarnate with meta-knowledge about the setting, him, his sons and chaos. From the midway down the stairs, the Emperor looks at me dead in the eyes. Gold lights seemingly peer into my soul. Fuck! I drop the wine I was drinking and run blindly in panic. I don't even know why I ran. I just bolted the second I felt those golden eyes peer into my soul. I don't even know where I could even run. I'm on his ship. I run past servants and menials and they don't even notice or try and stop me. I run into something and bounce off it into the ground. I see a custody walking over to me. God, he looks like a giant. He doesn't seem to even notice me, likely just ignore me while preventing me from crossing the doorway. I just take it in stride and try to back to the other door in the hall. Another custody is blocking that too. I didn't even see them arrive or follow. I start panicking more. I try telling them I was looking for a bathroom, that I need to get back to the party, that I need to know why they just won't let me leave this hallway. They aren't harming me, just preventing me from leaving and staying dead quiet. Time passes, I start coming down from the fight or flight energy and start falling into despair. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna get mind raped and blanked. I have no idea how long I've been held here. I'm still bawling and bemoaning my fate when I hear it. Calm down! Only I didn't hear it as a voice, more like a loud thought in my head. I feel cold, devoid of emotion, empty, nothingness. We have much to discuss. What? I turn and see a really old man in really plain brown robes and hood. Holy shit, it's Malkador! Well, <laughs> <laughs> I need you need to calm down and stop thinking so openly. Now be quiet and follow me. He turns around and starts walking, clearly expecting me to actually follow him. The custodies are seemingly gone. Why didn't I just fake sickness and skip the party? I am in some sort of study. Malkador is sorting through books and scrolls and is ignoring me. I sit at some chair in the corner, sipping a glass of water a servant silently handed me. I stop trying to talk with the sigillite and try to relax. 
The room is dead quiet besides a ticking grandfather clock. He will be here soon. And why does he want to speak with me? I hopelessly ask to try and bullshit my way out of here. He looks at me like an idiot and doesn't respond. We are back to awkward silence. Malco is writing something down. Please don't refer to me as Malco. Yeah, I don't believe Malcador. Listen, you're like being too happy about being called Malcador. Listen, or listen. All right, Mally boy. <laughs> All right, Mally boy is pulling a Tywin Lannister on me. Well, hopefully the big E gets here quickly and steals my mind quickly. I'm now bored as shit. Though Malcador has some cool shit in here. Is that a Soviet era Sputnik satellite? Yeah, Malkador had a really weird thing with collecting old world human artifacts. There's a small, <laughs> there's a short story of him getting his hands on the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone? Yeah, but this is set like, you know, in the year like 30,000. Oh. So it is, it's actually really interesting. He's a bit like a magpie almost. <laughs> shiny! Yeah, it is. Give me the shiny! Yeah, I think it's pretty cool though. I really <laughs> like it, you know. The writing stops. I peek at Mally Boy looking at me <laughs> with an... Stop in- calling me Mally Boy! <laughs> <laughs> I peek up Mally Boy looking at me with an intense expression. Is that really Sputnik 1? Or a later model or replica? I ask, wondering. I don't know its name. Just that it's the oldest Terran satellite recovered. He takes a deep breath as if resigned. What is a Soviet? He asks me with great interest. A workers group. The name was co op by the USSR after the First World War. He looks at me with clearly more questions. I explained a bit of the world wars I knew of and a bit of layman knowledge of the era. He's taken quite a few notes. He seems conflicted. We should wait till the Emperor arrives to save time explaining your situation. I try desperately not to think of the big E's past. Malkador stares intently at me. Please stop reading my mind. It is really unsettling. He huffs. Then stop thinking so openly and at least guard your thoughts. I'm doing this without any effort on my part. Your mind's an open book, leaking all your surface thoughts. That explains Big E noticing me when I thought of his sons and chaos nature. How do you, Mally boy, seem... (laughs) I am suddenly pushed against the wall. Okay, I will stop. Our master has been delayed, but he should be heading here soon. That gets my attention. What will I even tell the emperor? Whatever he requires you to. I know that, but... What is going to be required of me? What will happen to me? I'm starting to panic again. We are more interested in what you know than you yourself, Malkador tells me, seemingly bored again. I start thinking about the time period I find myself in. How many of the Primarchs have been found? What can... Three. We currently have found three of his sons. I go deadly quiet. Is the second still around? He was the third found if I remember right. Should I even ask? Do you know where the others are? He is staring blankly at me now. Kinda. I know a few names of worlds, but not where those worlds are. Malkador stands from his desk. Even just the world's names might help us narrow our search. We must know. I start listing off the words I can recall off the top of my head, and a brief overview of some of them. With great vigour as if in victory. Did I just fuck the timeline? Oh shit, how will this change things? I suddenly feel something in my head. Malkador, is that you? He looks at me in question. I feel something in my head right now. The feeling vanishes, and I feel the numbness from when Malkador calmed me down in the hall. It is our lord checking up on you. Be at ease. That was him? How did I even notice if... He must have let me know, or was just pinging me to make sure I was still here or something? I ask for some more water. He should be here soon. Before Malkador even finished requesting my water, and some of my favourite spice breads from the plant side, the fucker is messing with me. The big E himself walks right in. He is wearing the white robes with a red scarf thing around his shoulders. He just walks in. No guards, or even Malkador greeting him. His eyes are like glowing molten gold. He just walks right in and up to me. He isn't as tall now as what he was at the party. Maybe that's just an attempt to keep me calm, or just moving around easier? Let's try this again without the panic running. His voice is like fucking silk. He offers his hand and I shake it without thinking about it. So you are Terran, originally? Yes, how did you know? It is many a forgotten custom and all but Terra. Really? I guess nobody planetside did handshakes either. What era do you come from? I remember it was about... 
2020-ish AD when I died. I think I died. I don't recall what happened. I regained my former memories when I was six. They came slowly over a few years. He seemed quite stirred by this. I had my agents do a brief overview of your life so far. That would explain your inventions with your lack of much higher education as well as your reputation for being aloof. If you reincarnate again, don't stand out as much. It would have made you a target if you weren't not a duke's son. Shit, was I really that weird? I decided to take that advice, if my condition is repeated. Wait, am I a perpetual now? I don't believe so. He places his left hand on my head. I feel a shock and drop to my knees. You are now. What did you do? I was in shock, on the verge of tears. I didn't want to live forever. That was asking for trouble. I awakened your soul's potential. You have abysmal psychic talent, but your soul and mind are essentially natural relightning candles. I merely reinforced your soul. What? I boosted your soul, as it was capable of perpetualhood. But why? Your knowledge makes you too valuable to risk, and trustworthy agents are rare. But I have no skills you need, and you just met me. Doesn't matter. You now have all the time in the world, he says quietly. What if I don't want to live forever? I say with a tinge of anger. If you know about the setting, my sons, the enemy and me, then you know humanity needs champions. Everyone that is able must be brought into the fold if the dream is to be achieved. By making you a perpetual, you're now tied to me and humanity as a whole. Our future is your future. Rest assured, you will be provided training and allies. My lord, we've talked about this. You need to ease him into it. Not now, Malkador. He just needs to see so he will hold nothing back. Don't I at least get to feel like I had a choice in this? No. No. (laughs) No. 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 You don't. Well, fuck. How will I explain this to my family? What do I even say to them? Malkador steps towards me, handing me a small scroll. You're being raised up as the Emperor's cupbearer. A post you will keep till you are fully prepped and trained. This will also give us time to get you your knowledge. After that, we will see what lays next. You're going to make me an errand boy, aren't you? Of sorts. He chuckles. Mate, that's a gift of a job in 40k. What the fuck are you bitching about? <laughs> Being an errand boy in 40k. Like, you just lucky not get turned into a servitor, right? You get your fucking brain scooped out and... <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> that's like the... I mean, I'd do anything for that job, okay? <laughs> Fuck that. You will not be taken with us yet. You will help us bring compliance to, insert planet name here, and we will ensure your family are insured a place in the Imperium. Well, that is at least something. The hell even is my life. You get used to it, Malkador shrugs. My time back home didn't go well. What in the hells did you do, boy? Father was pissed. When I told him of my new job, he accused me of abandoning the family. I was stripped of my noble status by him disowning me. What the actual fuck? He should have been happy his spare got aligned to the motherfucking emperor. It appears our king accused my father of subversion for me gaining my new post. Father thinks I'm at fault here, and I guess I kind of am in a way. But this is bullshit. Maybe the whole custody's escort back home bypassing the capital didn't help. My brothers want to know what happened, but I literally can't tell them, or any other, that the big E offered me a job. It also doesn't help that Brother Legos, yeah, that's his name, he gave me, doesn't speak a word to my family or our servants. Legos only reminds me each hour how long I have to pack and settle my affairs before he drags me back to the big E. On good news, I'm out of an arranged marriage I didn't know about. Though Mother is besides herself about it. Big E had his agents calm Father and the King down. Official story is the Emperor and I hit it off at the party and I totally didn't freak out like a little bitch. Home has been officially brought into the fold. The Northern Kingdom tried to go solo. They lost all trade, their economy shit itself, and their rival kingdom was granted first rights to uplifting. The North caved after the nobles put the King's heir in power instead. I don't know what their King was expecting. My room on the ship is nice. I have a whole suite. Even the sink is gold. What the fuck? Emps. 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 Emps Emps got me a sweet necklace. (laughs) 
and a humby sized bolt pistol with way too much bling that is somehow my badge of office. Emps and Mal, <laughs> Emps and Mal, Emps and Mal want me as a cupbearer so they can use my mind and reference material or something. Legos was made my personal guard. During my first lesson with Malkador, he tested my psyker abilities and potential. Utterly pathetic. If the average human is a match in the warp, you're birdie too. This is a waste of both of our lives. So much for that. I was chilling with Molly, bro. Cease! <laughs> you need to relax sometime, Malkador. Also, get out of my head. Stop thinking so loud then. I lean across the desk towards the sigilite. You could just... Talk. He gives me an unamused glare, points at the blackboard we are working on. Whose banner is this? House Seagree. Please be right. What do they specialise in? Water treatment? Wrong on both accounts. This is House Grew C. That mistake would cause massive backlash and scandal. They are the suppliers of lubricant to the Terrawatt clans. You cannot afford these types of mistakes when we must return to Terra. My head hits the desk. This is R4 of my third day of lessons under Malkador. Maybe you should take a break. You're not in a condition for my methods yet. Thanks. I will study the tombs you lent me. Promise. Lego appears out of nowhere to grab the pile of books before I'm even standing again. How do you do that? Do what? The custodian tilts his head at me. How can someone so bulky and wearing that gold armour be so stealthy? Malkador puts his hand on my shoulder as he passes me to the door. We are assigning you staff and guards, but it will take time to vet and screen them properly. Until then, please stay out of trouble. I'm just a cupbearer. Won't that stand out? He scoffs, not bothering to answer. Legos, are we meeting the Emperor later today? I turn back towards the gold giant. He has been my minder lately until my staff is granted to me, I guess. Not till way later. Our master will come to you. Okay, that's weird. I have yet to go to his personal study. Maybe they're still vetting me? I will deal with that thought later. I was back in my suite listening to an audio file of certain Terra noble families while eating my dinner. Grok's steak is fucking tasty, yo. Yo! <laughs> yo! Oh, see, so the way they got it, like, it's a shit, it's like fucking... It's, so, it's, I don't it's, know. it's a really weird way. It's like, like, you know what it is? It's like a 90s comedy on, like... In 40k? Yeah, but can we put in some laugh tracks? Can we have like some 41 playing in the background? <laughs> yes. While yeah. he's like stomping around with his books on his yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. I'm in too deep in. It's like, well, I just want to party, girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Malcolm is like, oh, naughty, naughty boy. The reason why he hasn't been in the upper studies is because they're holding him up, cake standing. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, you know what it is. This is Flash Prince Power, and Malcolm is like, is the butler. And the Emperor is Uncle Phil. Yes. So it is. Yes. And Legos is fucking Carlton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah, That's a good right. analogy. <laughs> Somebody write a 40k Fresh Prince rap down below. Oh, I want to see that. Please, please, Fresh yeah. Prince rap down below. That'd be fucking as fuck. I have no idea what this mash paste is next to it, but it's filling and tasting great with butter, so whatever. I'm on my way. That's my call. I rush to finish my food and pause the recording. I hear the door tone just as I'm about to finish cleaning up. Coming! I yell as I rush to the door. Can't keep the master of mankind waiting after all. Oh my god. <laughs> I open the door to see Valdor and Lego standing there quietly. Valdor doesn't even glance at me. No imps though. Sorry, let me fix that. Suddenly the emperor is standing right in front of me between Valdor and Legos. Legos. Legos? Legos. Leg, Lego. I keep going to say leg, Legos. Legos. To try and make it sound better, but it's Legos. Why the fuck <laughs> do you want Legos? I tend to block my presence when in this part of the ship. Force of habit. I just nod. Not the strangest thing I've seen lately. He walks in my quarters as I step aside and follow. Have you sent word to the world eat, sorry, warhounds yet? I'm not sure just when Angron got the nails. Honestly, that's a great idea. If you can get your whole hands on fucking Angron before he gets the nails in, maybe you could actually not be a psychopath for five minutes. You know, <laughs> honestly, he's a bit over the top, but he's one of my favourite Primarchs, to be honest with you, yeah. Angron. However, he's just so mentally unstable that 
Honestly, the nicest thing that you could do is to just put him down. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just that mentally unhinged with the butcher's nails in him. Like, it's really bad, all right? I have confirmed the location of Nasseria. However, the Twelfth are too far out to arrive there with any reasonable timeline. I have sent word to the Thirteenth, as they are closest, and will have time to retrieve Twelve as well on the way back. He casually sits on the couch that is in my main room. No offence, but you should stop that. He lifts his head slightly. Is there an issue with the Thirteenth Legion? No, referring to the Primarchs by number. It's dehumanising and makes them feel like tools. It backfires hard. He pauses. Literal statue mode. Noted. Maybe that just fixed the whole timeline, be honest with you, at that point. You know, maybe, like, oh, I can't get into it. I'll be off. We just start talking about this. <laughs> Again, I reload and fire off three shots with the last pistol at the target down the track. My hand adjusts for a recoil that isn't there. Damn it. What is it with you? Yells the sergeant. Malco assists me to learn some basic combat skills. You're firing a damn Laz weapon. Primitive, not a powder weapon. Again, turns out I'm not actually allowed to use the fancy bolt pistols. The trooper laughed at me when they saw I brought it to one of the ship's practice ranges. I fire off three more shots before I have time to adjust, but my mark is way off. Give me that. The Sarge rips the last pistol from my hands. He fires one-handed without looking at the target. Three shots while looking me in the eyes. I look to the target. One in the left eye. One in the centre mass. Final in the target groin. Fucking showboating now? <laughs> Hi! I shout. He just does a few hand tricks Doc Holiday style and then hands me back the pistol. I get it, you're a badass. Can you just help me not suck already? I'm not a miracle worker. Fuck you. Oh my god, well, this is like fucking something like 90s. Yeah. I, I, I like it, but at the same time it's kind of like, uh, does it mesh well? I don't know. This is like one of the few times of Kim Kwasas, right? I don't know if it's shit or if I don't know if it's decent or not. I don't I don't mind the setting, but yet again, I'm not you, a 40k. You're not a 40k. I'm not a 40k fag, like, so. This is kind of different for me. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let us know what you think down below. I was expecting you to be in worse shape. I stop my push-up to glare at the Sarge. Why is that? Was told you were a noble inventor. That doesn't speak to fitness. Makes sense. Father is a jerk. I had to keep image for the family. If we miss the morning run, no breakfast, that sort of thing. Good. Makes things easier. I finish my sets. Tired, but ready for the rest of the day. Or ship cycle, whatever. He offers me a hand up. I take it. Never got your name, Sergeant. Unit tradition. Make it past your first firefight and I will tell you. I gave him a confused look. I'm not joining your unit, nor am I expecting to be in the field. You're the boss's cop boy. Where he goes, you go. And he very much fights. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> scratch, scratch record. record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. This is <laughs> yeah, this is what I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm a civvy. But I've never been in combat. I am a civvy. <laughs> Calm down. You're not going to be sent to your front. Plus, the custodies would keep you safe. Yeah, honestly, mm. you probably will be yeah. fine. You know what I mean? Fair point. I pause. Mm, what do I call you then? Just Sarge for now. I lead Roxy team. We ain't your guards, so don't bother remembering us. Okay, kind of rude. I got the banter when training, but this is getting old. Is there a problem? No, I'm just an ass. Sorry. That gets a chuckle from me. Are you really a noble? I'm caught blindsided from that question. I kind of got disowned, but yeah. The job gives me the status in of itself. Why? You don't act like one. I'm used to rippers. Even from low-tech backwaters. You act like a pleb, no offence. You do know when someone's a pleb or not. <laughs> you know when someone sticks to poverty line, yeah. you know what I mean? None taken. I'm a sixth son, I was never going to take over the family. No need to have a stick up my ass then. He nods his head. That's my point. You're just too casual for a noble. It's kind of weird. You need to watch yourself around any officers. They won't react well. Thanks for the heads up. That'll be three credits. Ha! <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, that was fucking weird, if I be honest with you. Yeah. 
It was really fucking weird. It just cuts out there from what I found. You know what I mean? That yeah. was all of what I got up to. So if you guys want more of we'll this. We'll try and hook out more of it. Um, if not, if you're like, no, this was gay, this was boring. What the fuck are you doing? Why is this guy such a bitch? Why is he talking like this? Why is he calling no, Milky Door? But, but, but <laughs> Mal- like, Malky Boy? Mal- Mally Boy? <laughs> Mally Boy. But I do want an imp. <laughs> but I do want to hear... Your rendition of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but 40k edition. Yeah, can we please do that? Somebody do it. Can we please? Sneak Boy, I'm looking at you. Yeah, Sneak Boy, you comment on all these videos, so like, you know, Sneak Boy, and you get in there quick. So go on, you can do it. I know know what you're like. (laughs) Somebody do it. Yeah, exactly. I think it'll be pretty cool. But look, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did really like it, you need to let us know, and then we might do a part two. Yeah. We'll just finish off the story. Yeah. This was just what we've got today, and this is what I've been able to like, gudge up. You know what I mean? So like, let us know, because that's the only way that we're... While gonna... you're here, I have a new video out on my oh, channel. Oh, yeah. Megan does like something. I am literally so close to getting monetized. Yeah, really. Like, so, so close. And I just hit over four... 4,000 4, subscribers. 4, and I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, it's a pretty good going. Um, but no, like, check that shit out. Very cool to get monetized over there. All that other stuff. Um, models, of course, you know. Would be remiss yeah. not to say about the models. Um, but look, look, we've rambled enough, um, I think, for the yeah. meantime. Like, let us, just, you let us know talk what you think. Talk to us in the comments. Yeah, talk to us in the comments. Because I do need a bit more feedback on this one in particular. Because I really don't know. Yeah. what I make of it so like anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this one it wasn't a complete waste of time but until then we'll see you in the next video bye all those moments lost in time